Ladies and gentlemen, honored residents of Westland, I'm Councilwoman Melissa Sampy, a proud lifelong resident of our remarkable city, Westland. I humbly request for your vote in the upcoming November 7th election or via absentee ballot today. Westland is more than just a place I call home. It is a community that I'm deeply devoted to serving. First and foremost, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to the residents of Westland who placed their trust in me and granted me the privilege to work on their behalf while electing me to city council in 2021. It has been an honor to serve you. Over the course of my tenure, I have made significant decisions that prioritize your public safety, stimulate economic development, attract new businesses, improve our neighborhoods, and so much more. This is guiding our city towards a strong financial position, which has always been one of my paramount objectives. In June, alongside my dedicated colleagues on City Council, we adopted a balanced three-year budget that preserves a rainy day fund of nearly $6.5 million. This fiscally responsible budget, without any proposed tax increases, allocates over $13 million for road improvements, close to $14 million for upgrades to our water and sewer infrastructure. It also ensures the continued employment of 13 firefighters through a federal SAFER grant. It secures a new roof for the 18th District Court and includes additional payments to reduce the city's retiree health care liability. Ensuring the safety and well-being of our residents remains one of my highest priorities. I have committed to public safety by enhancing salary and benefits packages, investing in equipment and facilities, and attracting and retaining the most talented individuals within a highly competitive market. Furthermore, with the availability of the American Rescue Dollars, I am working diligently with my colleagues to support an establishment of a CERT team, a Citizens Emergency Response Team. This will help by ensuring that our residents receive the vital assistance they need during power outages, floods, and other emergencies that may arise in our community. Thanks to the unwavering support of the Wesleyan City Council, Wesleyan Parks have witnessed remarkable enhancements this year. We proudly opened the Wesleyan Rotary Canine Corral, the city's first dog park, and welcomed new pickleball courts. JC Park now has a brand new outdoor fitness court, and we have plans to upgrade an additional nine parks in 2024, including paved parking lots and modernized recreational amenities. I have been vocal in my pursuit of progress, such as reinstating the leaf pickup program and reopening the pond at Central City Park. I have collaborated closely with our city administration to confront the issue of commercial blight, which has hindered private investment. In fact, earlier this year, I personally advocated for the demolition of the long vacant Naked Mills Tavern on Ann Arbor Trail. This property was torn down in March of 2023. I also organized a DTE town hall with our city administration and our congresswoman, which attracted hundreds of residents and local media. As a city, we are continuing to hold DTE accountable. Our city has countless opportunities for future growth, but it requires experienced leadership to continue, innovate, and responsibly fund these improvements while keeping our taxes as low as possible. That is precisely why I'm requesting your vote for candidates who understand the crucial role of a council member. I humbly ask for one of your four, four votes. Once again, I'm Councilwoman Melissa Sampy. It would be an absolute honor to be reelected to serve the residents of Westland. Should you have any matters you wish to discuss, please do not hesitate to contact me at 734-637-2078. Additionally, you can visit my website at ivotemelissa.com. Again, that's ivotemelissa.com. I extend my sincere gratitude to each of you for your support, and I sincerely hope I can count on your vote on November 7th or absentee ballot today. 
God bless you and your family.